I just try to wrap up some concluding points then before we finish. And thank you to the people upstairs for staying on a few extra minutes. Um, first of all, I think we've a lot to be, to be upbeat about. Very clearly from the presentations, there has been, uh, there's a lot of very positive work going on out there which will help to inform us on how to make things better. Despite the difficulties we are facing, we're generating increasing amounts of, of experience and knowledge which will help us to find a way forward. So there's a lot to share out there. We heard of the experiences from Japan and from Kyrgyzstan and from our other colleagues in Turkey on the awareness building processes and so on that are underway. And of course we've heard about the, the website and the available information that's out there. So like we should be able to use that and not try to invent the wheel all over again. Uh, we also heard of the importance of uh, finding local sustainable solutions, including the issue of building on local knowledge. Go out there, find the local knowledge. What informs people about potential disasters, etc. And we also heard the, the interesting comment from our colleagues in Turkey regarding the pre-identification of hotspots where emergencies might occur, uh, might occur and that will provide with an opportunity to help to focus the most, on the most immediate needs. Um, obviously, for many countries there is still uh, a need for external support and this will continue to be important in the year to come. Um, also, I think that uh, we can conclude, and we knew this before we came into the room, but I guess it's important to reiterate it, that a safe environment will provide uh, an opportunity for inclusive education. So you have to have a safe environment, which cares for those children with disabilities and other things. Also, the importance of building codes, the development of building codes, the articulation of building codes, but also how important it is to ensure compliance with building codes. And that's, that's really important. We heard about the importance of awareness, uh, awareness building, uh, and preparedness planning. Uh, and the note I had there was the need to consider the needs of disabled children. Uh, uh, and an interesting point that one of my colleagues pointed out to me today that it's not earthquakes that kill children, it's buildings that kill children. So, I mean, it's a different way of, uh, of stating things. So, in conclusion, schools have to be safe places. Uh, we need safe structures and we also need to be prepared and we also need to do awareness building and finally I think we're all we were all convinced probably before we came here to see but we all need to make sure and push the fact that DRR or disaster risk reduction needs to be 